let's move from free markets to free trade. <laughs> And you talked about in the book uh, infant industry protection and the nature of success through trade. That's right. Yeah, thing seven says this: uh, few countries are going to become rich through free trade. And I mean, of course, that, that this is a completely counter to the uh, mainstream belief uh, these days that all countries that have become rich have become. Uh, have become uh, richer, have done so through free trade and free market. But uh, you, you know, actually, the, when you look at the history of capitalism, actually there are very few countries that have uh, become richer through free trade and free market policies. I mean, there was uh, the Netherlands in the 18th century, and Hong Kong, if you can call it a country, in the 20th century. But apart from that, you know, even countries uh, like Britain and the United States, countries which uh, people think uh, invented free trade, were actually very protectionist uh, in the early days when they needed to catch up with other people. You know, I mean, that a lot of Americans think uh, that this is the country of uh, the free trade and free enterprise, but uh, probably a few of them uh, have known that between 1830 and the end of the Second World War, the United States had the highest industrial tariff rate in the world. You know? It is a country where the theory of so-called infant industry protection, this uh, argument that relatively backward economists uh, need to protect and nurture their young producers against uh, competition uh, from superior producers at, uh, abroad, this idea was actually first theorized by none other than the first Treasury Secretary of this country, Alexander Hamilton, in his famous uh, report to the Congress on the subject of manufacturers submitted in 1791. You know, so I mean, there are a lot of myths about uh, how free trade was uh, central to the development of capitalism. Of course, international trade is uh, central. You know. But uh, that is not the same as saying that free trade is That's at the uh, right. center. You know? So that this uh, confusion between the importance of trade and importance of free trade, I think, is at uh, the root of a lot of uh, the problems uh, these days. Because, uh, for example, the World Bank, uh, the IMF, and various uh, donor governments have uh, tried to impose uh, free trade policies on developing countries when they need uh, a period of uh, protection and nurturing. And in the last uh, 30 years, a lot of uh, developing countries have liberalized their trade. And in most countries, uh, economic growth has uh, uh, collapsed and uh, their uh, industries uh, have been dying. So, I mean, there's a, I mean, you know, it's uh, not just getting history right. I mean, uh, these uh, the historical the, the issues have uh, great bearings on the, what we do today. Thank <laughs> you.